Hi guys, this is jsnl.com and I'm here with a very special setup for the Huawei Pura 70. Um, the device is uh, priced at the lower amount uh, among all the three models we have here in Europe. So we have the uh, Pura 70 Ultra, we have the Pura 70 Pro and we have the basic Pura 70. The price should be around $700 for this one and it stands out through the superior periscope telephoto camera which has 5x optical zoom. The other models have 3.5x which is quite impressive. So let me actually showcase that for you. So if you go here in the camera and you actually start zooming in on various well, objects around, you're going to be noticing that we have a, a decent 2x, a pretty clear 5x and actually solid 10x. This also applies to the buildings I'm seeing here and other things. So yes, superior zoom for the basic model, something you'll never see Apple selling you. Um, maybe even for the fact that they like to focus on uh, ultra wide more than other things. Okay, let me push this out of the way and let's discuss this handset further. How can you tell is the Pura 70 and not the Ultra or the Pro? It's very simple, the screen is flat, the frame is flat. It has an aluminum frame and the back side is covered with glass. It has a triangular camera with uh, uh, rounded corners for the triangle. It's also IP68 certified. Um, we can dunk it in water up to 1.5 meters for 30 minutes. The other models can be dunked up to 2 meters for the same amount of time. It's much easier to handle at 207 grams, the other are, have 220 grams plus, and it measures 8 millimeters, where the other ones measure something like 8.4 or 8.2. Now, the screen here is an LTPO OLED, that's what we're getting, which is pretty bright, has Full HD Plus resolution, and a new type of protection, Kunlun Glass. 120 hertz and 6.6 uh, inches just so you know now the cpu inside the phone is a pretty controversial one is the kirin 9010 uh, which doesn't have a 5g activated modem in europe we have 12 gigs of ram and 256 gigabytes of storage you can also see the resolution here the battery is a tad smaller than the one of the pura 70 ultra and the pura 70 pro 4900 milliampere hour but at least the charging is fast 66 watts via wire 50 watts wireless and there's even reverse wireless charging you can place the device here and juice it up now i should also mention there's a fingerprint scanner in the screen optical variety and a stereo speaker setup one at the bottom and probably the earpiece at the top yes i know it looks like an iphone quite a bit even from the side even from the front so let's get that out of the way on the camera front we have here a 13 megapixel shooter with 4k capture it's an ultra wide camera but with no autofocus the autofocus has been left for the selfies of the other models. At the back side, we have a surprise, as I said before. In the zoom department, there's this camera here. It's actually a periscope telephoto camera with 5x optical zoom and 12 megapixel resolution. We have a 50 megapixel main camera with variable aperture from f1.4 to f4.0, and finally a 13 megapixel ultra wide camera. Now, the whole aperture thing is good for, well, one thing. So, these are the extra features you're getting. This is the aperture. And it's something like this. If you focus on an object, you can create various degrees of blur behind it. So f1.4 will create less blur, f2.8 more blur, f2 even more blur, and f1.4 the most blur. That's what it's all about. Plus the virtual aperture. There's also a pro mode here, so you can trigger stuff like metering, ISO, aperture, shutter, exposure, focus, and white balance. In the video department, you're with 4K 60 frames per second, you can apply these filters of the X-Mage variety, and by the way, of course, they can be applied for the photo as well. Extra options here at the bottom side, master AI, filters, camera grill, and this is the X-Mage. Basically, an alternative to Leica, after Huawei didn't have the partnership anymore, this is the mono capture and the Strident Capture, which is a more intense color, more intense as well here, and original if you want to keep it legit. We have the Master AI, and quite a few other options to explore for this camera. Portrait, this snapshot, and this is the night mode, which should be very efficient, well, during the night. It runs on Emotion UI 14, up right on top of Android 14, I guess. We have these beautiful widgets here. In China, it has Harmony OS and satellite communication. Uh, rumor has it that there's Harmony OS next coming to Europe, but for now, it's pure and clean Android with a touch of Emotion UI on top. Uh, there should also be this uh, poolside window for multitasking. An app gallery with the Micro G solution to get your Google services running. That's it, the basic model, 700 euros for the Huawei Pura 70. We have all of them, all three of them, handled on this YouTube channel. Stay close.